Now, we have seen from a previous video how the bubble sort works. In this video, we're going to be demonstrating um, the pseudocode. We're going to be showing you the pseudocode for the bubble sort algorithm. To do this, I'm going to uh, start off by writing a function. So I'll write my function and I'll call my function b sort b sort and my function will take my the list I intend to sort which is s list now one of the next key things I will do is to create a temporary ver um, variable so I'll call this variable temp okay temp in the first instance will be an empty string the next thing I'll do is to create um, a boolean variable for my swaps because I need to be able to check if I've got swaps occurring now to go into my iteration I would set my swaps as true okay so I'm going on the assumption that swaps is true now using iteration I will then check that while I'll check that while swaps while swaps is equal to true do the following now we're going to set swaps at false we're going to flick swaps back to false all right and now we're going to start checking using a for loop again inside my while loop we're going to start checking two items two closest items um, in the list so starting from the first one so I'm going to say that for I, which is my counter variable in range in range zero so starting at the first position to the length of my list the length of my list minus two okay minus two do the following now I'm saying minus two because as I progress in my algorithm I would need to be comparing i, the index position s list i, to s list i plus one. So if I'll be doing s list i plus one, I don't want to go above. Um, I, I want to be two steps below the length of my list. It will make sense once I write it down. So what I'm going to say here is that if if s list i if s list i is greater than s list i plus one so technically what i'm saying here is is if the first value in my list is greater than the second value in my list then go to my temporary variable and insert in there one of those values because i need to i need to swap so go in there insert one of these values so I have put the first value in my temporary variable then this allows me to overwrite that value so I can go to s list i now and then put the value in s list i plus one put a value s list i plus one and then I can go to because I've transferred this value to s list i, I'll then go to s list i plus one, and then put my temporary variable, which currently holds s list i. So I'll go in there, and I'll put s list. In fact, I'm not putting a s list i. I'm sorry there. I'm putting temp, because s list i no longer exists. So I'm putting temp in there okay now because i've just done this it means that i'll have to reset 
swaps to true. So I'll change my swaps back to true. Now, it, once I turn my swaps back to true, it means I can now end if. So I can end my if statement there. And then it will go back to my for loop. It will go back to my for loop. I will become one. If I becomes one, I plus one will then be two. So this will then be comparing the second item in my list to the third item in my list. Then it will carry on until there are no more swaps in my list. Okay, so I can end four. I can end my four and I can end my while. I can end my while. And because it's a function, I can return, I can return the sorted list.